Behance Portfolio Tutorial, How to Create Portfolio in Behance. So first, you need to visit the website, which is behance.net. So to start with, you need to first create an account. So you just need to click the sign up button. So for you to sign up, you have different option here. So I will go ahead and click continue with Google. Then you will be redirected to this page. So you need to pick one or more topics. And this will help you, Hans, to recommend creative work that you might love so here if you're a graphic design then you can just go ahead and click graphic design and also if you're a photographer then you can also check photography or ui or ux or if you are an architect then you can also click this one product design advertising fine arts game design craft sound created challenges and 3d arts so i will go ahead and click see my custom feed this is your home dashboard and as you can see here these are also some of the portfolio recommended by behance based on the choices that you pick earlier so over here you can check or you can click on this portfolio and you can make this other portfolio as your inspiration to create your own portfolio as well so as you can see here you can also see if how many people view this portfolio and also uh, how many people like this portfolio over here. And let me go ahead and show you how you can create your own portfolio inside Behance. So it's very simple. Just go up here. You can see we have share your work. Just hover your mouse over here and we have this option project, work in progress, and live stream. So to create your own portfolio, just click project and it will bring you to this blank page over here. So as you can see, you can add different content. You can add image, text, photo grid, video, and audio. You can also embed some URL or code here, Lightroom, NFT, prototype, 3D. And also you can style your project and also you have your settings over here. So to start build your portfolio, I will just go ahead and click images. So for example, I will be doing a portfolio for web designer. So first I will just click add text. So we will be adding text first. So I will just name this one my personal portfolio tutorial all right and then again i can also click down here and i can add another text so before that let me go ahead and highlight this one and i will just make it bold and also i will put this one in the middle and let me change the formatting style i will make this one as the header all right, so something like that. And then I will go ahead and add another text down here. And I can just enter here about me. And I will just go ahead and enter my text. And then click this icon here and I can start adding my own images. Select the images here that I found online. So I will just make use of this. So these are not my website so this is just for example purposes guys and over here as you can see you also have this pin icon so if you click this pin icon it will give you this option you can reorder the project you can add caption you can replace image or you can also delete the image so here i will just go ahead and click add caption so over here it will add caption so you can name this one my first project and then over here we can add the link for this website and here you can highlight this one and then you can just click this chain icon and you can add your own link so for example I will just make use of the Google URL just to show you guys how this one work so as you can see here, we have this one highlighted because it's a clickable. 
So if your client interested to visit this website and take a look of this website, because as you mentioned that this is your first project, then your clients can easily click this link and it will redirect them to your website and they can take a look of your website and see if they like you and they will hire you. So over here, you can also add another text to tell about your project and what inspires you to do that project and what are the tools that you are using if you want to mention that one over here. So same with the other images here. You can also add some caption and also a short description about this work. And over here, as you can see, each images, you can also add some tags. So this is very important to add tags, guys. So you just need to make use of keywords that related to your work or to your portfolio because there are some clients will go to Behance and they will look for a freelance or virtual assistance to do the work. So they will be searching for a specific keyword to look for a freelancer or to look for a virtual assistant. And if you are using same keyword that your clients search here, then there is a high possibility that they will able to see your portfolio and they will hire you. And also add some styles for your portfolio. So just click styles and you can see here, you can also change the background color. So for example, we will be doing like the pink one. So you can just do like that. And then if you want to change the content spacing, you can also drag this one, as you can see. And then you can just click save. And you can also click continue for the settings. So over here, you can also add your own cover image. You can also give your project a title. I will just go ahead and name this one. And then again, you can add project tags over here. So over here, you can also mention the tools that you use, what software, hardware, or materials did you use for your work, and the Behance visibility. So you can click everyone, or you can also set this one as private. It means that you're the only one who able to see your own portfolio. So it's recommended that you set this one to everyone so that you can share your link and share your portfolio to other Behance user and after that just click publish and now here's our portfolio so here we have the URL here so you can just copy this URL and you can share this one to your clients for example you can share this link to your LinkedIn to your Upwork account, any of your social media account for your clients to see your portfolio inside the Behance. So over here, this is the portfolio that we just created today. But of course, you can make this one better. You just need to take time. So I guess that's all for today's video. And I hope that you learned something today. And thank you so much for watching.